Welcome back everybody to the third video of this Excel series. Today we will be going over the ceiling, floor, and round function. The ceiling function always rounds upwards, the floor function always rounds downwards, and the round function rounds to whichever is closer. For example, the ceiling function you will, you will want to type in equals ceiling, open bracket, pick a number that you need to round, and then the next digit you enter in after the comma is the significance that you want it to round to. So for example, if I put 0 0.01 or just 0 0.1 and I have 2.65, it will round up to 2.7. Even if it was 2.64, it would still round up to 2.7 because it's ceiling. And in terms of money, if you think about it, $2.65 and then the second number is 0 0.1 so that would be 10 cents so it's going to round up to the nearest tenth so it will go to 2.7 perfect and for another example even if you do the exact same thing but it's 3.45 so normally if you rounded this number to the nearest wholest number it would go down to three but because it's a ceiling it is still going to go upwards and if i just make the significance one it'll go to four. Now, for the floor function, it works the exact same way, except instead of going up, it is going to go down. So I will use my 2.65 number, the same significance as last time, 0 0.1. And instead of going to 2.7, which it would normally round it, it will go to 2.6. And it's the exact same case for 3.45 here significance one, it will round down to three. Now we will be going to the round function. If you type in equals round, open bracket, and pick your number, in this case 2.65, put in a comma, and then the number you put in after this is the number of digits you want it to round to. So if I put in one, it will round to 2.7. If I put in zero, it should round to the nearest whole integer, which would be three. Perfect. And it works the same way for 3.45. So for example, put one this time, it will round up to 3.5. And it works the exact same way as if it was the ceiling. But if it was the floor, it would go down to 3.4. Perfect. And now the last example, a few more decimal places, 2.9494. If you pick the number of digits, say three, it will only give you the last three digits rounding down from the four. Now you could also change this to two, and now it will only take the two digits rounding up from 2.949. So then the four nine would go to five. And you can do this for however many digits you like, depending on how big your number is. If you guys found this video helpful, please check out some of my others. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment down below.